For the past 10 years, Adelina Shutt and her assistant, Aldemar Benjerano, have been running the Kuru Refuge and its program of reinserting the spider monkey into Costa Rica. Okay, 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 okay. After anesthetizing this monkey, Adelina takes off the tracer collar from its neck. Oops. This gesture marks the final link between the animal and those who for six months have slowly taught it to readjust to life in the wild. Kuru presently has 20 spider monkeys, of which 14 have already been set free. I saw a spider monkey for the first time in 1989. I was very impressed. It was the first monkey we brought to Kuru. It was in pretty bad shape and a sorry sight to see. That was how my family got started on the project, and today we're pretty satisfied with the results. The land at Kuru has belonged to the Shut family for several generations. By creating a refuge for wild animals, Adelina has fulfilled the dream her father didn't have the time to realize. As an endangered species, cited in Annex 1 of the Washington Convention, the majority of spider monkeys in Costa Rica are found in zoos or as pets in private homes. Veterinarian Mauricio Jimenez is Adelina's friend. He lives in San Jose, the capital of Costa Rica. At Adelina's request, he went to a wealthy family's home in the city to pick up Newton, a young three-year-old male. As is usually the case, now that the adorable animal has become hyperactive and an aggressive adult, the family wants to get rid of it. Before taking Newton to Kuru, Mauricio examines it at the San Jose Veterinary School, where he teaches. He checks that the animal is not a carrier of any disease, which could contaminate the refuge's other animals. Newton is in good health and therefore ready to head for the refuge. The Kuru Reserve is on Costa Rica's Pacific coast at the tip of the Nicoya Peninsula. Costa Rica is a country committed to preserving the environment. It has 75 protected sites, about a quarter of its territory. This is enormous for a small Central American country with only three million inhabitants. Well sheltered at the end of the bay, Kuru stretches over several hundred hectares of varied nature. Outside of its pastures and plantations, the domain consists of natural forests, mangroves, and beaches. After more than a day's travel, Mauricio finally crosses the threshold, which will take Newton to freedom.
tema. ¿Cómo está? Vamos para que vean. Adelina is delighted by each new arrival. In Mauricio's opinion, Newton is a handsome male with good potential for bringing new blood to the reserve. He'll share a separated cage with other spider monkeys. He's going to see his peers for the first time. Pepe, however, another male, is very vocal about not wanting to have a rival around. Newton is very frightened by his new environment and buries himself in his blanket, the last vestige of his life as a house pet. All the spider monkeys taken in at Kuru come from the same background as Newton, an unwanted former house pet, or seized by customs officers and taken to often overcrowded zoos. Adelina notices that with Newton around, Pepe behaves like a male for the first time. Adelina and Mauricio wonder if Newton knows how to climb. Actually, most of the monkeys they receive have never been up a tree. The next morning, before going back to see Newton, Adelina takes care of an orphaned baby howler monkey. As a single woman, Breakfast is the only moment of the day she spends with her mother and her brother, Frederico, who looks after the cattle and the mango plantations. <laughs> Kuru has remained a farm by necessity, since ecological tourism does not provide enough of an income. No, 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 no.